So let's talk about the Alex Math Placement Exam. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you are studying for the Alex Math Placement Exam, and that is definitely a smart move. A lot of people just kind of show up and take the Alex Math Placement Exam, and then they kind of place into whatever math course that they, you know, reflects the score they got on that day. But that's not a really a great strategy because if you have math skills that could put you in a higher level math class, uh, you know, you don't want to repeat a math course that you already know because that's going to be a waste of your time and money. So you definitely want to study as much as possible for your Alex Math Placement exam and get into the highest level math course that you possibly can. And what I have for you here is a practice problem Let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. So we want to simplify this expression. The expression is 3 times the square root of 20 plus 7 times the square root of 5 all over the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. Okay, so this is the problem. And if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. I'm also the founder of TC Math Academy, and TC Math Academy, I have well over 150 plus math courses to include a very comprehensive and very successful Alex Math test prep course. Now, this is a 25 chapter uh, math course. Now, you're not going to be able to kind of go through the entire course, but it is like the ultimate math review. So you can really uh, understand all the concepts from basic math into advanced high school level math. If you can get through everything in my course, you're going to do very, very well on the Alex exam, the Alex math placement exam. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and uh, check out or follow the link in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and get into this problem right now. Again, we have 3 square root of 20 plus 7 square root of 5 over square root of 2, square root of 2 times the square root of 3. What is this all equal to? Well, this is the correct answer. Okay, so 13 times the square root of 30 over 6. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution here. So here is our problem. And I'm going to uh, kind of run through this uh, pretty quickly because there is a lot to cover. And obviously, I'm not going to turn this into a full lesson. So take a look at the steps. You can pause the video and kind of study uh, things further. So first things first, let's take a look at our numerator here. So we have 3 square root of 20 plus uh, 7 square root of 5. So we want to see if we can add uh, these two terms in the numerator. And indeed, we can because we can simplify this square root of 20 uh, with the concepts of perfect squares. So we can think of the square root of 20 as the square root of 4 times 5. And then, of course, we can break up the square root of 4 times 5, uh, these factors, as their own individual square roots. So what we have here is 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 plus, uh, of course, 7 square root of 5. Now, the advantage of doing that is that we can actually take the square root of 4. Okay, so the square root of 4 is 2. So we have 3 times 2 times the square root of 5. And now we have a square root of 5 here and a square root of 5 there. So we can add. Basically, this is very much like like terms. So you can't add radicals unless you have the exact same uh, radical or square roots. For example, if I have 2 square root of 7, I can add this with 1 square root of 7 because uh, we have a square root of, uh, both, both of these terms have the square root of 7. But if I'm trying to add 2 square root of 7, to 3 square root of 5. I can't do this because the radicals are different. But in this case, we are dealing with the square root of 5. All right, so let's go ahead and proceed. So we have uh, 3 times 2, which is 6 square root of 5 plus 7 square root of 5. So all we need to do is add the numbers in front of the square roots, kind of like the coefficients in like terms. So 6 plus 7, of course, is 13. So now we have 13 square root of 5. All right, so we just kind of simplified the numerator. So now we have to work on the denominator, but we have a lot more steps to go. So let's go to continue on. All right. So here is our problem. Again, we just uh, worked on simplifying the numerator. That is 13 square root of five. And now we have uh, square root of two times the square root of three in the denominator. Okay. So this is pretty easy. The square root of three, square root of two times the square root of three. Uh, we can write this as the square root of two times three, which of course is the square root of six. 
Now, if you left your answer like this, well, that is not correct because we have a problem here. We have an irrational number in the denominator. Remember, you cannot leave your answer like that. This would be like if you had three square root of seven. Well, this is not allowed, okay? So we have to rationalize the denominator. Now, in this case, what you would do is you would multiply both the numerator and denominator by the square root of seven. So that's what we're gonna have to do here. We're gonna have to uh, rewrite this. Now, you have to be careful when you're doing algebra that you just don't stop, you know, in other words, don't do three uh, quarters or 90% of a problem. You gotta go, uh, you know, basically all the way and make sure that a problem is fully simplified. So here, this square root of six, again, is not allowed. So all we have to do is multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of six. And now let's go ahead and take a look at our answer. All right, so the square root of six times the square root of six will be the square root of 36, which of course is six. That is our denominator. And then 13 times uh, the square root of five times the square root of six, we're simply going to multiply the square root of five times six under one radical, which of course is 13. So we have 13 over the square root, 13 times the square root of 30 over six. Now, of course, if six can go into 13, we would simplify even further, but it cannot. So this is the final answer.